Thanks, Bella. Arizona is the latest abortion battleground state with its Supreme Court reviving an 1864 law criminalizing almost all abortions. In that state and around the rest of the country, pro-choice and pro-life advocates and politicians are in a tug of war over the laws. CBS's Donnie Backus reports. Arizona State Supreme Court turned back the clock Tuesday, ruling the state can enforce a law criminalizing abortions except those to save a mother's life. That law was passed before Arizona was even a state and before women had the right to vote. Democratic Governor Katie Hobbs. I refuse to allow extremist county prosecutors to use this abortion ban to lock up women and doctors seeking or providing needed health care. The ban takes effect in 14 days. Abortion rights advocates have been collecting signatures for a ballot measure this fall. In November, we'll make history when Arizona voters overwhelmingly vote to restore abortion rights and reproductive freedom. The issue is already front and center in the upcoming presidential election. The states will determine by vote or legislation or perhaps both and whatever they decide must be the law. Monday, presumptive GOP nominee Donald Trump announced he supports states' rights on the matter. Some conservatives have criticized the former president for stopping short of a national ban, but other Republicans back the move. Um, the fact of the matter is he knows, and I know, that it's consistent with the majority of the American people. Democrats warned the GOP has a long game. The Trump smokescreen simply is a disguise for a Republican strategy and plan to pass a national abortion ban. The Biden campaign responded to Trump, releasing an ad about a Texas woman who made national headlines for being denied abortion services after a miscarriage. She says she may not be able to get pregnant again. Donya Backus, CBS News. Abortion access will also be on the ballot this November in states like Florida, Maryland, and New York.